What you see. Text and trinkets for a necromancer. I have no use for this stuff. It's filled with some sort of elixir. where Nagasta prepares the bodies. Thank you. 
wrong? Izara, what's happened to you? Snap out of it, Izara! <laughs> what have you done to her, Nagasta? Izara, just another entry in the Leisure of Lost Souls, Master Cyrus. She belongs to the Great Lord Wild now. What have you done to her? She pledged her soul to this one in return for services, and since she had no immediate use, this one gifted her to Lord Vile. What pledge? What service? This hour came thither three months ago, leading this one to help our free Prince Ator from the Soul Gem. The Din child had even brought the Soul Gem with her. This one told her the deed might be accomplished, but knowing the eagerness of a client, this one was quite candid about the high price of such services in return for her soul. This one agreed to free her beloved Prince Ator. Perhaps you will count my fee too dear, but cannot the client misjudge the true value of his service? Worm, if you will restore her to me now, I give you my word I will not allow myself to bring you harm. That is quite impossible, of course. Her soul is long since delivered to Clavicus Vile, patron danger lord, within whose distant realm your sister's soul now resides. This one admits to have been dilatory in his part of the bargain, for the prince's life force rests still within the soul gem. The very soul gem that adorns the amulet that you delivered to Lord Rigdon. Ah well, this one has ages ahead to fulfill the bargain, and it seems petty to deny Lord Rigdon the pleasure of wearing his defeated enemy's soul like a trinket, don't you think? Worm, restore her now! Oh. I will kill you more quickly than you deserve, and just talk to Vile myself. Now, now, let your sister serve as a walking, talking, cautionary tale, Cyrus. But you repeat her mistakes by trifling with this one. And you propose to browbeat my lord, Vile, into relinquishing your sister's soul. Surely consider this. Vile is my business now. You have other things to worry about. <laughs> really? What might conceivably trouble this one? The question is, does your soul get caught in your own soul snare after you die, or does it just get to go straight to hell? Let me help you find out. Piece of amber. This must be the spell Nagasta used to reach Clavica's vial. I need to use it if I'm going to save Azara. A dangerous heart. These hold great value to spellcasters. I already have one of those. I already have one of those. I already have one of those. I already have one of those.
glad you could come! Nice dog. Not a dog, of course. On sunny days, he likes being a dog. Or lots of other things. When he's like this, I think he's somewhere else. It's all quite significant, of course, but who knows what it means. Interesting. I think he likes you, Cyrus. So this is what the Deetra Lords do in their free time? Trade souls, destroy lives, loaf in the sun? You poor, poor thing. All our time is free time. It's eternity, man. Don't you think that gets a bit tedious? Mostly it's the same thing, over and over, so boring. But you, well, you kill your sister Sedman, then let her lose her soul, then... You come here and threaten to beat up the big nasty Deidre Lord to get her back. Well, it's stupid and silly, but it's not boring. Hand over her soul, Clavicus, or I'll retire you from the Pantheon. Oh! Oh! Don't hurt me! Please! Wait! Did you think the flask would protect you? Oh, that's excellent! Listen, bold hero, Cyrus. The Gaston was much more fun. He was very smart. And very scared of me. But your failing, fearless hero, is that you have no imagination. For example, have you any idea what I am doing with your sister's soul right now? Whatever you're doing, stop it right now. For what, Cyrus? What are you planning to do to me? You can't hurt me, or anything here. Nothing happens here unless I let it happen. What do you want? Why are you doing this? Just for the fun of it? A follower of my brother, Hermaeus Mora, once said, The ultimate purpose of the Deidre Lords is to instruct and improve the generally deplorable character of mortals. Lovely sentiment. But in fact, I watch mortals and meddle now and then purely for entertainment. Nagaste in his time has been a character of remarkable charm and complexity. But now you have eclipsed Nagaste. And I have high hopes for you. For example, you come all this way to rescue your sister's soul. Why? Yearning for a lost childhood? Pricks of conscience for abandoning your sister? A murderer's guilt? I feel no guilt for killing Azara's husband, Vile. But running from the consequences? I'm not proud of that. And I'm not leaving her this time. Yes, that incident is hard to explain, I agree. Poking that scoundrel through the chest and taking off like a spook bunny? <laughs> yes, I left. But Azara could always take care of herself. I just ran. I... I was young. She's not taking care of herself now, is she? Ha! <laughs> and did you judge she could take care of herself? When you presumed to poke a knife through her husband's chest? Vile, I don't care whether you're bored or alone. This talk isn't getting us anywhere. Just tell me. What do you want? I'm really sorry to lose Nagasta. He always had presents for me. You like presents, eh? Got to have presents. No presents, no fun. Sure wish I had a nice present. Hint! Hint! No presents for you, Sonny. I want my sister's soul, and I'm taking it. 
You're bluffing! Oh, boring Cyrus. You can't take anything from me, and you know it. Either I give it to you, or you don't get it. Simple? And I don't give gifts when I'm bored. I'll give you this priceless flask from my sister's soul. Oh, Cyrus, a present for me? You shouldn't have. But thank you. It's a unique addition to my justly famed collection of enchanted artifacts. All right. You've got the flask. Give me my sister. Cyrus, I didn't offer to make a trade. You gave me a present. I'm happy with my present feeling generous. So, let's speak in earnest of your sister's soul. For the last time, Vile, what do you want? Don't spoil the fun, Cyrus! You're supposed to figure it out! But here's a hint. I got what you want, so... You're bored, Vile? Then let's play a game for my sister's soul. And to cover the wager, I'll offer my soul. Hmm, very noble, Cyrus. But do you know anything about the worth of a soul? For example, all the fun I'm having with your sister's soul right now? I'd hate to give that up. Your name is well chosen, Vile. But I know the worth of my soul, and I'm ready to wager it against my sister's soul. Are you sure? You know, that thing I'm doing with your sister's soul right now? I'd love to do that little thing with your soul, too! Fine. Vile. I am scared of losing my own soul and my sister's soul. But I haven't much to us, have I? Let's get it on. Excellent! I was right! Not all heroes are witless cretins. I am most pleased to accept your soul as stakes in a game for your sister's soul. But before we start, there's a couple of things we need to get straight. Your soul's not worth a penny unless you know its value. It gets the newer soul's value, but you do not. So I have to explain it to you. First, you think you lose, you die, and that's the end. It's not. You lose, you live. And your soul is mine. Just like your sister. And it goes on for a very long time. Understand? I understand, but let's just get on with it. At last, when your soul is mine, your will may defy me, but you do what I want. You're here of your free will, so let me demonstrate. I'd like you to apologize for being so rude and to humbly beg my forgiveness. Lord Vile, I apologize for being so rude and I... Uh... Come on, Cyrus! Don't fight it! Humbly beg your forgiveness. Very good, Cyrus! Perhaps a little weak on sincerity, but practice makes perfect. And now that I have your complete attention, you're ready for your test. But before we start, Cyrus, did you have a classical education? You're talking to yourself, Vile. I'm ready. Let's go. Good! Good! Just checking! Just that a thinking man, a well-educated man, might have an unfair advantage in this test. But no! You're a hero. A man of action. Right? So you probably won't recognize this old chestnut. Taken straight from Paulus's The Stars of the Shoulders! Ready? Listen carefully, I won't repeat it. 
two doors. One leads to the loss of your soul. The other leads to the return of Azaras. Two guardians. One always lies. One always tells the truth. You can ask one of them just one question. Just one. The game begins. Choose wisely! <laughs> Which door would the other one say is correct? The left door. Hmm, not such a blockhead after all. But I don't think you've seen the last of me, Cyrus. I've got my eye on you. And playing games with Clary the Smile, Cyrus, is just like breathing. Once you get in the habit, it's kind of hard to stop. <laughs> Be lucky, Cyrus. Until we meet again. You're safe, Azara. Is it... you? I'm afraid so. Where's Nagasta? Is he dead? Where's the soldier? Azara, I... I... I have to get back to the League. But... Uh... What have I done? Azara! Are you coming or not? Caught up already, have you? Shut up. Is up. Do you plan to stay this time? Yes. Because you could run again. Yes. It wasn't your war then. No. And it's not your war now. No. And if you expect anything more than that right now, you can go to hell. That's just great, Izara. Don't give me that. Even if we still had the soldier and we'd be in the same place, you'd still be hiding in this cave and Richter would still be in our prince's palace. There's a difference between hiding from the Empire and biding our time. We're losing time. You lost the soul gem. What now, girl? <clears throat> I know where it is. Yeah, huh? Richter has the soul gem. You've seen him with it? I gave it to him. How could... I didn't know what it was. The necromancer had it fashioned into an amulet, a gift for the governor. He needed someone to deliver it. I did, thinking I could somehow get to you. My heart just broke. Yours too. A million pieces. We'll just have to get it back. We'll be killed as soon as we step onto the shore. Cyrus is right. What's the point of being condemned as rebels in arms if we never take up those arms against the Empire? We? I tell you, Basil, and hear me well. Whether you like it or not, I'm in this now, until the end. I'm not sending my men to Strosmakai. Soul Gem lost to no. Hammerfell needs us alive. What good are you, Basil, if you do nothing? Are you afraid of shedding a little blood? Here it comes. You speak grandly of spending blood that is not your own, son. 
As for the League, we do what we can, even in hiding. We're pirates, man. The purest form of sedition. The thieves snare, slit the throat unbeheld. The ever-resident thorns, keeping all sides of guard, alleviating every inertia with our own. Our raids force the Emperor to garrison Stros Makai and tie up ships and men here. And our piracy hits Richton where it counts, in his gold purse. If he doesn't squeeze this province for the profits the Emperor demands, his head will roll. Don't forget the dragon, Basil. Because that's the thing you really fear, isn't it? The Battle of Stros Makai hung in the balance until the governor called in his dragon, right? Well, there's that too. I'll take care of the dragon. Big man. Can I feel your muscle? Richton probably has the dragon guarding the Thaldom in the palace treasure vaults. Where are they? You can enter them through the catacombs, but you need the key. Where'd you get this? The prince and your sister were good friends, Cyrus. The treasure vaults were to be her jewelry chain. I've had enough of your chatter, Basil. I'm going to find the gem, and then I'll find somebody who'll bring the prince back. When that's done, should I tell him to expect your aid or not? I expect you'll have just as much success as your sister had, Cyrus. Hardly do any worse. I'll go with you. At two weeks still. Look, I've done well enough to this point. I can finish this. For you. For Hammerfell. Fine, for Hammerfell. When I have the soul gem and somebody that can break its magic, what should I do? Send us the signal and we'll meet at the temple. Brother Niddle has the Torah's body hidden there. Red God! When you have the prince, you have his men. I should help you. You're too well known on the island. The Imperial... I can handle them. And you will, after the temple. I won't fail you. Not like last time. Look, let's get this straight. You murdered my husband and ran away. On one day, you robbed me of the two people I loved and trusted most in the world. Hakan was not much of a husband, but you were not, and you are not fit to judge him. Nor am I fit to judge you. You're guilty of God to know how many crimes and cruelties, not the least of all what you've done to your own flesh and blood. But, whatever harm you've done to me, I forgive you. You're my blood and younger brother, and I can do no less. But if you trifle with the affairs of the League, and with the fate of Hammerfell and her people, then run away like you did last time, I will find you. You are a charming, vain, self-absorbed child, never thinking of anyone but yourself and your own profit. But if you take up this thing, you will see it through to the end, or I will kill you. I am going to find that soul gem, and I will get your prince back. Izara, I, I know what you think of me. I'm, I'm, I'm not proud of what I've been, but something, something is happening here, and I don't, really, I don't really know what I'm saying. Then don't say anything. I'm not interested in your words, Cyrus. It's enough to have you here. I just have to believe that you'll stay when I need you. I will finish this. Hmm. 